In SOLIDWORKS, there is a variety of rectangle tools that you can use to create a rectangle in a sketch. There is the rectangle tool, the center rectangle tool, the three point rectangle tool, the three point center rectangle, and the parallelogram. These are mostly self explanatory, but let's take a closer look at each one. As you can see, I've already created a 2D profile using each of the rectangle tools available, and we're going to recreate this ourselves. We begin by editing the sketch by clicking on the sketch and going to edit sketch. There are a few ways you can actually activate the rectangle tool. The first is by going to the feature manager, making sure the sketch tab is activated and you'll see the rectangle tool. The little arrow next to it, you can click on to drop down and here you'll see the rectangles available that you can draw. Another way is to go to tools, sketch entities, and again, you'll see the rectangles available. A third option is you can right click in the graphics area, go to sketch entities, and you will see the rectangles available here. And finally, you can also push S on the keyboard, S for shortcut. This will bring up the shortcut menu. And in here, you'll also see the rectangle tool, which you can click on and select the rectangle you need. So let's start our first rectangle and we're going to use the corner rectangle by pushing S on the keyboard, which is my preferred way of activating the sketch tools. I'm going to drop this down and pick corner rectangle. Also note here that when the rectangle tool is selected, you still do have the option of changing between the rectangles available. So here you can see the corner. I could switch to a center or a three point rectangle directly from here. So you don't have to actually cancel and then select another rectangle if you pick the wrong one. You can change it once it's activated. You'll also notice there are some extra options available as well. For example, the add construction lines. And I'll just demonstrate this quickly for you using the center rectangle. So here I I have add construction lines and it is going to be from the corner. So when I do a rectangle, you'll see the construction lines are from corner to corner. But if I was to say from midpoint and do a rectangle, you'll notice that the center lines are cutting through from the midpoints. To begin recreating this 2D profile, I'm going to start with the corner rectangle. So pushing S on the keyboard, uh, making sure that corner rectangle is selected. And I'm just going to hover my mouse over the corner here and then drag it over to the right. And you can see the inference line. So you can tell that it's gonna be in line with this when I start. So I'll click here. And again, having the inference lines start, I'm just going to put it about here. So that's the rectangle. All you're doing is picking one corner and then picking the opposite corner. Let's do a center rectangle corner. So as you can imagine, this is going to start from the center point and then you pick the outside corner. So we can use the center inference, drag it across or even from this edge, clicking to begin and then going up to the corner. So that's a center rectangle. The next one we can do is the three point rectangle. Self-explanatory, you just pick three points. So you're going to pick one and then another corner and then another corner. So what we can do here, if we're going to copy this area, which looks like it's going to the midpoint, so we can start from this corner, bring it to the midpoint, and then using the inference lines, it's not going to... There we go. Sometimes you might not, it might be too far away. Uh, so just move your mouse around until you can actually see an inference line. That should be close enough. So that is the three point rectangle. So the next one is the three point center rectangle. Pretty self explanatory again, but you pick the center and then the outside middle and then down to the corner. So we can use this inference line to drag across and begin the center about here. We can then drag it over to the edge of the rectangle and then bring it down to the corner. So that's a three point center rectangle. The last one we look at is the parallelogram. The parallelogram is simply a rectangle that's on a slant. So we can use the inference line over to the side here and drag it to about, about here. Click to start, drag it down to this point. That's our second point. And then our third point is the opposite corner here. And that is the parallelogram complete. Also, you'll notice that the little tick is available when you complete a command, but you can simply escape to finish the command. So that's the rectangle tool in SOLIDWORKS. It's obviously very handy because instead of using lines to draw four corners, say for example, instead of drawing a rectangle like this, 
I can draw it much faster just by using the rectangle and drawing it like this. And this automatically puts in center lines if I want it. It adds any sketch relations that are automatically applied. So it's much quicker if you're drawing some sort of rectangle shape to use the rectangle tool.